Good morning, friends. Welcome back to Bahu Automation Lab once again. In this today's online video session, we'll try to learn everything about Browse Stack Cloud. This is a uh, most important while working with the real-time automation or manual testing in uh, any organization because cloud testing is most popular nowadays, and uh, there are lots of uh, organization and uh, many companies which are providing the cloud services. Okay. But browser stack cloud is most popular uh, nowadays, and most of the companies are using browser stack. So uh, let's try to understand what is browser stack cloud, how it is helping us to uh, work with manual testing as as well and uh, automation testing as well. This is a very popular cloud for the cloud cross cross browser testing uh, in manual testing terms as well and automation terms testing terms as well. Okay, so. One by one, we will see uh, many clouds, but this is the most popular uh, cloud services like browser stack. So let's try to understand how, what is browser stack cloud, or how it's helping us in automation and manual testing process. Okay. So today's agenda is like introduction of browser testing, uh, introduction of browser stack cloud, run Selenium script on browser stack. Okay. First of all, we will run for the desktop applications and after that uh, we'll run our ipm script for launch mobile browser on browser stack uh, stack cloud devices any cloud devices after that we'll uh, learn how to inspect mobile browser uh, elements using chrome inspector and then we'll run uh, epm script to launch app on uh, mobile uh, browser stack cloud devices we have already covered how to work with a uh, APM in emulator services, right? Emulator, we have launched uh, Chrome browser, we have launched um, API demo uh, like testing app uh, in emulator, and we have already worked on that. But now we will launch our uh, API demo app in Browser Stack Cloud and we'll try to learn how to work with that app. Okay. Then we will inspect mobile app elements using APM inspector uh, in Browser Stack. We have already learned how to inspect the element. Uh, in EPM inspector, if you are working with emulator, but uh, if you are working with the browser stack cloud, so how do you set up that to inspect that element in uh, in browser stack cloud? Okay, how do you uh, launch Chrome browser in browser stack cloud, like in uh, mobile devices or in uh, like normal desktop based application or different operating systems? Okay, and how do you inspect the mobile app elements using EPM inspector in browser stack? We'll just learn this step by step in all the this continuous sessions okay so first of all in this session let's understand introduction of browser stack cloud so first of all understand what is browser stack cloud okay so browser stack is the testing platform to test the website and mobile applications okay it's a testing platform or it's a cloud where we can test our uh, websites or the mobile applications in uh, real devices or uh, real-time operating systems and browsers okay you can test web application in multiple browsers and and mobile application in the mobile devices without any virtual machine or device emulators we have already uh, run, run scripts in apm sessions uh, in emulators right but here we not required any emulator or any, any virtual machine or any devices you can directly run our script on browser stack cloud where we have some hosted devices okay and we can directly run our script on that devices using browser stack cloud so this is the benefits of using browser stack cloud why browser stack cloud for automation because uh, as i have already told you that there are many service provided uh, which is providing cloud services but browser stack is the most popular and browser stack is one of the cloud based tool used to cross browser testing with a most accurate result it's give us a real time result right like a real devices so this is the most accurate table result so that browser stack uh, we, we require to use browser stack for automation testing okay so, so first of all, uh, let's try to introduce into this browser stack. So I'll just open Chrome browser in my uh, system. Okay, so let's understand browser stack. So I'll open browserstack.com official website in uh, browser. Okay, so here we have some tabs like products, developers, live teams, pricing, and then the sign in. Okay, so 
uh, if you are working with any industry, we require to purchase the license of browser stack cloud. Okay. And as if you are a beginner and you want to learn the browser stack, what is browser stack? How do you work with the browser stack cloud and everything? So they will provide us a pre-trial section uh, for browser stack. So, so here we can get a hundred uh, minutes for our testing uh, so that we can uh, perform our automation testing or the manual testing on that. Uh, Pre previous devices okay so let's understand what is the browser stack so first of all we require to uh require to get the pre-trial version so this is the demo session purpose so i will get one pre-trial version here okay here you require to sign in through your full name business uh, email id and uh like uh password whatever you want to provide you can provide it from here and just click on the sign up okay and uh, if you have you will get one verification mail on your email id whatever you provided here and you need just click on that mail id and you will uh, success, after successfully verified you will get that pre-trial version okay so i have one user email id already uh, created here for the pre-trial purpose so i'll just log in with that email id and i'll show you how working with the browser stack okay so let's uh, enter email id Uh, I'll enter the password as well. And click click on sign me in uh, button, uh, enter username and password. So we will come on to the dashboard. Okay, so this is a pre trial. Okay, and uh, here we have some tabs like um, uh, live, then automate, app live, and uh, all those things okay this is the enterprise additions and all those things so first of all let's understand what is live okay so click on this live so here we will get some questions so just myself i'll click on that for now if you are working with team you can click on the, my team as well Okay, here uh, we required to provide. So I'll just close this one from right now. Okay, so here we have got uh, one minute during the free trial. Okay, each device is available up to one minute for during the free trial uh, for full access. Okay, so uh, here we have will get uh, some operating systems like Windows, then iOS, then Mac, and all all these operating systems versions like a um, windows 10 8.1 8 7 xp and all those things and here we will get all the browsers latest browsers versions whatever browser whatever you want to test uh, you will get all that uh, versions here okay so if you want to open your url or your website on any uh, browsers like i want to open on windows 11 uh, latest version of one uh, one zero four firefox so just click on that uh, browser whatever browser you want you can just click on that okay and uh, it will open uh, that browser in okay browserstack.com welcome browser, welcome to browserstack.com this is the website so if i'll search here like a bahu automation lab automation lab you can search it and you will get the official youtube channel of browser bahu automation lab this is the URL on whatever you want to do testing on this uh, particular URL, you can do it as per your uh, requirement or whatever your website do you have, you can test on that website for like that. Okay. Uh, so it's open on Windows 11 uh, and uh, latest version of Firefox browser. Right. So I'll just click on the stop session. You, whatever resolutions you want, you can uh, get that resolutions. Okay, local testing. I'll explain local testing in the uh, app live session. Okay, screen reader and location. You can change all those things you can do through this. So I'll just click on stop session. Okay, so this is one uh, working with uh, live uh, live product section. Okay, you can use any operating system like Mac and anything, whatever you. Okay, so now now. You, let's understand the second tab related to the browser stack version and we'll go to the app live okay in the app live let's go so here we will provide something uh, like you can test your apps on the real devices uh, okay so real device for a pre-trial real devices we, 
browser stack will provide uh, four devices like for uh, Apple uh, iPhone 13 uh, mini and iPad, iPad Pro and uh, Galaxy uh, S22 and Galaxy Tab S8 for the Android. Okay, so these two devices. So how to work with Apple? Uh, so 30 minutes left for a free trial. We have 30 minutes for the app live section uh, in the free version. So first of all, let's upload your app. You can upload the app using this upload window, okay? Or install um, if you want to uh, install the app using uh, like test flight, you can do that. Install via Play Store, you can do that, okay? Uh, as per your uh, convenient requirement, okay? So if you're getting any build from the developer, you require to upload that app through this link, okay? So uh, click on that and upload. I'll show you one demo. You can do it while all the things by your. Uh, convenient way okay so if you have one apk like api demos app which is we are already working on that so i'll upload that api here so it will get uploaded here automatically in the uploads app section okay it will take a uh, few seconds so it's a 2 mb file so it will take as per your internet connectivity it will take a time and it will upload it here okay so this is the apk file okay ep it is ip then you require to open the iPhone 11, but it's APK file. So we'll, we require to select this and we require to select, if anywhere you select this, it will highlight it just Android devices because it's a APK file. Okay, it's, if it's IP file, then it will highlight the iPhone devices. So in the pre-trial we have uh, Samsung Galaxy S22. So I'll just select this file and open it to the Galaxy, Galaxy S22. Okay, it will launch as a real devices. So it is a starting devices Galaxy S22 in uh, version 2, version 12. Okay, just got it. Okay, we can record a session through this uh, record session tab. Okay, let's continue with this uh, location, contacts and access we required for this. So our app is launched successfully in app live section, right? So you can test your app. Like I want to click on this test uh, link. So just starting the app in Galaxy uh, S22, just to wait about one second. It will uh, do that. So, uh, okay, we are, okay, and just it's clicked on that test section. Okay, and whatever you want to do testing on this app, you can do uh, easily while working with this real time devices. So, uh, this is the uh, apps like switch devices, local testing, Zoom, and uh, everything. Okay, and clicking on the test, and after that, I'll click on the back, and I uh, after that, I'll click on the this app section, then alarm section, section alarm controller, on, and we'll just come back, then menu. Now successfully app is installed in the system, so I can easily test whatever you want to do. So I just click on the notification, and whatever I want to test on this app, I can easily test. Okay, so here we have some tabs, like uh, if you want to uninstall the app, you can uninstall this. If I want to rotate the app, you okay? can here in the landscape mode, portrait mode, whatever mode you want to do, you can do it through this, okay? Rotate or change the location. If you want to location change, if you want to, you know, to test the app, your app in real devices with uh, another locations, like uh, as per your client requirement, you can add that location here and you can test on that particular location. If you want to change uh, a network connectivity, you can, uh, Okay, if you want to change the network connectivity, you can change that network uh, network and test application on that network. Like I want to, to test on 4G good, so I'll test it on 4G uh, 4G network. Okay, and then if you want network condition change has been applied. Okay, if you want a high network, you want low network, whatever network you want, you can test on that. Then you can change the lang language, preferred language you want to do. Okay and all these things, okay, this is the option for screen reader, okay, uh, not supported in, on these devices, so it will not supported in the free trial, but if you are uh, purchase, it will get uh, that options as well, okay, so this is the uh, thing, how can we test the app in uh, app live section, so this is the local testing, what is local testing, guys, so if you are working with the, any uh, organization and they have some personal networks, okay, so through this local testing on, uh, you'll get that app, click on this local uh, testing section, download local desktop app, and so just install that app and uh, through that connection, we can enable local testing. So what is mean by local testing? So guys, I'll explain you in the simple manner way. So if I open with this website, first HTTPS www.bowdautomationlab.com. 
So this is the worldwide website, right? Okay, but my website is hosted on my local server as well. Like this is stored in my particular organization, but this URL is not available on the worldwide. Okay, so like this URL localhost eight nine zero nine or this thing, this is localhost URL. Okay, this is local URLs, local server URLs, which is not available to test on the browser stack. I would throw. So through this local testing enable, you can test all all these types of URL for local server as well. Okay, so your stage build or whatever build or your stage URL you can test through this local testing on. So simply just download that local testing app, desktop app, and install in your system and just enable that one and you can easily do the local testing as well. Okay, so in pre trial we don't have that much time, so I'm not going to install that one, but you can try by yourself as well. If you want to zoom in and zoom out in this. Uh, device you can do that as well if you want to record the section okay you can re record that section okay day of tools um, if you want to minimize you can minimize that in that day of tools as well okay if you want to report any bug just click on here and continue you can integrate with jira github struck on any um, testing tool you can integrate through this section okay this is the uh, okay if you want to debug inspect in beta you can inspect through this okay as per the inspector you can inspect uh, the conditions, whatever you are doing, you can do that, all that controls as well. Okay, I'm just inspecting this element and this is the element for uh, app, right? Uh, app test, you can inspect the element through here as well. Okay, as you inspecting the elements in uh, through APM inspector as well. And now we can inspect the beta here from inspect uh, element from here as well. Okay, here we get the network se sections login in network error will uh, occur. We will get that all the disable, enable, all traffic, enable specific domains. If you want to do that, HTTP request and all those things, we can do that as well. So, this is how we can work with the um, app live sections. Okay, so, so we have done with manual testing process now, uh, like how to work with website how to test manually website how to test audio uh, app in devices as well okay same way you can test your uh, website uh, in browsers as well okay uh, like in automate section uh, same way we can open your browser and uh, mobile browsers and then you can test that one like uh, we have open windows 10 uh, windows 11 and the firefox browser same way we can test with the mobile browsers as well Okay. And uh, now let's understand uh, app automate section. Okay, so this is a very important and key feature while working with the app automation section. So whatever uh, language we can prefer, you can choose that language. And this is the dashboard, how we can uh, work with, let's understand the Java. So I'm working with Java. So I'll select here the Java. So here we will get all the documentation part, access key related to your uh, product and all those things. So, uh, for automate or uh, app automation purpose and uh, for the the automate uh, Selenium automate purpose, let's uh, connect with Eclipse and uh, we'll do some code and then we will do it uh, live automation demo sessions practically in the next session. So this is the introduction about uh, APM. Just one thing which is not noted here. Let's understand that concept as well. So here we go. So if I go to the buy plan section. So here we have some uh, plans for our browser stacks like uh, for automate, automating uh, and uh, manual testing purpose. So if you go to the live section, which is we are, uh, uh, we have just learned like we if you want to test on desktop and mobile uh, browsers okay so this is the monthly payment of 39 dollars okay if you uh, build annually if we build annually if you change this with monthly build so then it will the price will get changed okay but if you build annually this this is the 39 dollar we need to require to play okay if monthly then we require to pay 49 dollars okay is as per the, your organization, you can choose the best plan here. Okay, you, you can read here what is the inter instruction, what will you will get, uh, uh, what benefit you will get uh, in live section. Okay, what 
type of plan is suitable for your uh, organization you can purchase from here and in automated also whatever plan you are suitable for here you can get that one in app live section also whatever plan you suitable for your uh, organization you can take uh, in our app automated uh, as well okay if you want to work on the big enterprise editions you can take this plan as well okay so this is how uh, we can work with uh, the manual testing and uh, in the app uh, in the live section and in the app live section okay how to view test your uh, browsers and uh, devices in manually in on browser start so this is the introduction about uh, that's in the introduction part about uh, browser stack um, app, live and app live section okay if you have query related to this introduction uh, part you can just comment out me i'll give the answer related to this okay in the next session let's uh, automate the browsers cnn browsers using browser stack cloud and uh, after that let's understand and um, automate mobile uh, apps using uh, browser stack cloud okay how do you connect with browser stack and all those things we'll learn in next session till time keep watching bahu automation lab don't forget to share and subscribe bahu automation lab okay so let's meet in next session guys till time have a great day bye bye take care